Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for the perfect grace, perfect clarity, and perfect peace. Mary Magdalene, he says, let's just let her walk up to you. If we could just breathe into her mighty presence, her being very tall and um, wearing her um, warm red garment. And thank you to the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this opportunity right now for freedom, for the wonder of peace, and for great joy being present with us right now. We're so grateful for this opportunity to, um, to have life, to have words, to have opportunity, and to feel our ability to change what we see, what we fear, and what we perceive, and to allow the highest good to come forward for us. So we walk with freedom, we dance with freedom, we feel freedom, we are free, and we embrace that freedom for all beings right now, for all people. And we celebrate um, everyone right now. We also honor sadness, we honor grief. We honor humanity changing through suffering rather than insight, and we choose to learn through insight ourselves right now and to use insight, use intuition to allow the highest good to come forward in this moment. So if we could just breathe in. If you could notice Mary Magdalene with you, she might be super tall, she might just be taller than you, but if you could notice yourself touching um, what she's wearing, touching her garment, if we could just breathe in and just let that happen. And if you could notice what it's like to feel part of something. And the unity, if we could feel right now, the unity of grief, that we've all experienced grief on catastrophic levels, on levels of sadness. Let's very simply just take in a breath. Let's just feel the unity of grief. And with that, if we could feel the healing that is available through that unity, the shared experience of grief. If we could just feel that being um, circular in its movement, that we don't need to go into the grief, but just acknowledging that everyone has experienced that, everyone here, everyone listening. So we'll just breathe into that. And with Mary Magdalene, if we could notice her, this is her words, let's let her make the grief tidy. So there's an order to it, there's acknowledgement to it. We could acknowledge families that might be experiencing different levels of grief today, like the Floyd family. So we'll just notice our own experience, the experience of America, the experience of the world right now. And if we could breathe in and notice the things that don't feel fair, like having to even consider not going somewhere based on fear. If we could very simply let the angels, let's hand over to the angels every single thing that feels or is unfair. Be that any threat, be that a veiled threat or a overt threat or a potential threat. Be that unspoken rules, don't go here, don't go there, don't do this, don't do that, don't say this, don't do that. Let's hand all those things over to the angels right now. We're just gonna take a few moments while, while we do that, while we hand over to the angels everything. And with Mary Magdalene, we'll spend some time and we'll pray. So thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters. Thank you for everyone being in their perfect place right now, including people coming home, including people who are ready to transition having the tools they need, the information they need, the assurance they need to transition, the people who have transitioned, being fully welcomed, the people who um, are loved ones who are already in the non-physical, helping us to understand the lightness that's available and the power that we have being in a human body with a human voice. And we choose to celebrate all that power right now. And we choose in this moment to notice what it's like to detach from our story Detach from any story, the stories that are true, the stories that have been told many times, and very simply in this moment, just to feel 
yourself being a being with Mary Magdalene, this wonderful, vibrant guide who has in the most positive way a seriousness to her and a great deal of love. We'll notice the angels who work with love, with humor, with grace, and with perfection, them helping us out. And we choose right now for everything to be fair. We choose right now to live in a just and safe planet where everyone could go where they want, when they want, with positive intentions. That we celebrate people expressing themselves positively. We choose to release the disassociations present, especially in America, and for everyone to feel the ownership of their psyche, to not give away power, and to feel the grace and the ease and the peace that's here for each of us right now. So we'll just breathe into all that. And with the um, energy of having a task um, in the most positive way, let's notice Mary Magdalene just simply going into the earth, just kind of dissolving, um, being where you are and going into the center of the earth. And let's notice Archangel Michael and the other angels that we know by name being in this space with you. And like crumpling up a piece of paper, let's notice any sense or idea of injustice being crumpled up and tossed away. And if we could feel the viability of the angels right now, that they really, really, really can help. So if everything that was mentioned in our check-in, anything that's on our minds right now, anything that feels like a problem or concern, a worry, a habit, a relationship. Let's very simply let the angels have access to anything and everything that we are concerned about, our friends, strangers, history. Let's very simply breathe in. And if we could help them out by just um, relaxing where we are right now, And indeed, as requested, if we could feel Archangel Raphael standing right behind you and giving you a very simple and perfect angel massage, be that to your back, your shoulders, your neck, all the above. It's very simply just breathe in and relax into what you're sitting on right now. And perhaps leaning back even a half inch or more. And let's give the angels that much more room to work in and trust that they will do the exact perfect thing. And if we could be, this is Archangel Ariel, she's being super clear. You don't have to do anything. Let's let her do it's her and the angels do everything. If that means that a friend in a care facility is more prepared to pass than ever, great. If that means that a dance group can dance with perfect autonomy and perfect freedom and perfect safety tomorrow, great. If that means that a young man is returned home, safely great. If that means that there's more clarity in a family that has monumental history together, great. If that means that we feel good in this moment, great. If that means that we celebrate justice being done and a new, the tide turning in this country, where people, anyone in authority thinks before they act, that the assumptions get interrupted and we work together to a space where we don't need authority figures that we exist together. Great. That we live on this peaceful planet 
and we celebrate creativity, we celebrate health, we celebrate encouraging each other, and we see the goodness that is present, and we choose to call all of that great. Wonderful. Um, like a magnifying glass, let's let you and Archangel Raphael um, become 10 feet tall. So let's notice just both of you getting bigger. So if we could notice his care for your body, his addressing any tension that you have being amplified with the size change. And with the analogy of the magnifying glass, if we can notice any tension that you have, the ability for Raphael to solve that tension is easier. Getting into muscles, knots, tension, and letting it melt away. Wonderful, so we'll just breathe in. And we'll notice the goodness that is here. We'll notice the peace that is here. We'll notice the love that is here right now. So we'll just breathe in. And we'll choose to feel good right now. Wonderful. If we could notice Mary Magdalene returning from the core of the earth, if we could notice her smiling with a sense of victory, like she's been a, a discoverer who found the thing that she was after. And if we could notice what she communicates to you, be it displaying something to you or telling you. Let's notice a really happy Mary Magdalene returning, victorious. Wonderful. And what she's saying echoes themes that have been coming forward in the, in the last several weeks of the, the health spaces and the different workshops and stuff. If we could just notice her presenting to you in vulnerability. What it's like to not worry. What it's like to walk freely, to exist with freedom, and to anchor and embody to anchor goodness and peace on the planet, to embody goodness and peace on the planet, and to feel all the goodness that is here. Wonderful. So we'll just breathe in. Great. Now if we could feel in this moment, you and Mary Magdalene sitting on the floor together with unity, with love, and with peace. Let's notice what she shares with you on the floor. And if we can notice that um, the thing that changed today, in her words, is hate has been given a price. Hate is no longer free.
And if we could notice her following that up with um, letting everything become fresh right now. That we could relax or not worry about or not focus on the history of um, disassociative violence or hatred or racism in this country. We could start fresh today. And just notice what that's like. And if we could let very simply that not be just a notion, but to be a mindset, a focus, and an agreement. And coming back to things the angels and the guides have been repeating and emphasizing in recent weeks, let's let them help us out right now. If we could say out loud, we'll be specific with a few guides, Let's say out loud, thank you, Mary Magdalene, for helping me in every part of my life. I honor all lives with respect and the choice of peace. Um, in her language, let's say this out loud. I allow my I allow my life to be treated with respect. If you could notice um, with her response to that affirmation and the room it creates, her almost she's showing a gesture of like in a positive way. Her like slapping something on you like like a like a metal a, a, a energy like there is something that's different that's physical so if we could just breathe into that and if we could just lovingly say out loud thank you angels and guides for helping me in every part of my life Thank you for the freedom I have to do what I want. I am boldly free. Wonderful. And if we could feel what this connection and communication with Mary Magdalene and all the angels we know by name and the different guides that are here. It's very simply notice what they communicate back to you. And if we could say out loud to them, thank you. So if we could notice them, them being the angels and guides, going to anyone you're concerned about, be that people in care facilities, children on another continent, or a whole huge country, or one individual in a different state, or the park you're to go to tomorrow, Let's let the angels occupy, or the, or the entire United States, the entire legal system. We could notice the angels standing in those spaces now and helping right now. Them being in action, them working with grace and ease and peace. Let's let them help. Wonderful, so we'll just breathe in. And with wonderful clarity, perfect peace, and loving ease, let's notice Mary Magdalene 
hugging you, hugging you, hugging you. And she's hugging you in a way that her um, warm red garment surrounds you and provides you with comfort, with warmth, with care. Wonderful. If we can notice uh, Dr. King, Martin Luther King Jr., if we can notice him very simply standing in the space with you and Mary Magdalene and the angels. And let's very simply just notice him smiling. And if we could feel his participation in the growth of America, if we could also feel your participation in the growth of America. And let's say out loud to Dr. King and all the guides, thank you very much. And let's say out loud as a statement of fact and, and it, as an intention, let's say out loud, I learn through insight. I release learning only through suffering. I learn through insight. I'm perfectly safe in every moment. My loved ones are safe in every moment. I forgive myself for everything right now. I forgive everyone for everything right now. I ask for forgiveness for everything right now. Thank you. Wonderful. And in the most positive way possible, um, let's very simply notice you sitting where you are, the room the angels asked for having been filled with greater love, greater peace, greater harmony. Let's notice Archangel Raphael being complete with his massage, Mary Magdalene complete with her embrace, both of them hanging out, Archangel Michael hanging out with you, Mary Magdalene not going anywhere. We could just feel the loving presence of the angels and guides right where you are and the opportunity for you to enjoy the rest of your evening with grace and peace and ease. And with a sense of enjoyment and victory, we'll say out loud to all of them, thank you so much. And thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for all the grace, all the peace, all the love and all the joy that is here for each of us right now. Thank you to the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this moment of clarity. We celebrate the ease in which we heal continents, we heal countries, we heal um, fractures, we heal threats, we heal fears, we heal ourselves. And with everything being healed, we recognize our influence on our own lives, the power of our words, our intentions are allowing, and we choose to walk with peace. We choose as we walk with peace to include others. We recognize our leadership. We recognize how easy it is to encourage and to include, and we celebrate all that right now. And with generosity and peace and ease, we quite simply and lovingly ask for this or something better right now in all directions of time, and so it is.